Let's talk about vestibular hypofunction. My name's Amy, I'm a vestibular physical therapist, which means I treat dizziness, vertigo, and balance problems. Vestibular hypofunction is a general term used to describe inner ear balance dysfunction. Your inner ear is really important for your equilibrium and your balance reactions. And as you can see, the inner ear is very deep inside your ear. In fact, it is encased inside your skull bone. Your inner ear is a neurological organ that measures movement through fluid movement through these little tubes inside your skull. And when the fluid is not moving inside of here, the nerves that send signals to the brain from this organ will rest at a potential of 90 pulses per second. Now there's a reason why you have two inner ears both balancing each other. It's because your head is a three-dimensional object. Both sides of your head perform a kind of balancing act with one another in order to give the other side a reference point. So for example, if I turn my head to the right, one of my ears went backward in space and the other one went forward, and both of them were stimulated neurologically, increasing their signal in certain ways to tell your brain which direction each ear went. By having both signals simultaneously change and complement one another, your brain can make a really clear picture of where your head is moving in space. With vestibular hypofunction, one or both sides is under-functioning at its resting rate and is under-functioning to determine if it's in motion. Common causes of vestibular hypofunction include viral or bacterial infections of the ears or sinuses, genetics, or hearing loss. Sometimes the cause is idiopathic, which means we can't trace it back to any particular thing. Diagnosis of vestibular hypofunction involves looking at the symptom history and doing a VNG test. VNG stands for Video Nystagography. A VNG test is usually done by an audiologist and involves putting on this special set of goggles that measures your pupillary eye movements with the movements of your head so that we can compare them against one another to see how well your eyes keep up with the movement of your head. After piecing together evidence about how your eyes and head move as a unit, we can really piece together which vestibular nerves are functioning well and which aren't. Symptoms of vestibular hypofunction are sensitivity to head movement, brain fog, dizziness, vertigo, and imbalance symptoms. It can also include things like migraines, lightheadedness, sensitivity to light, and motion sickness. Treatment for vestibular hypofunction generally depends on the cause of the hypofunction and whether there's still an active infection, but it generally involves vestibular physical therapy, which involves balance exercises, eye and head movements to retrain the ears and brain to work together as a unit. For more information on vestibular hypofunction, please visit vestibular.org.